In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to morph between any two shape layers in After Effects. This can be with the shape layers in After Effects, or you can even use your own. It doesn't matter how intricate they are, but the more complicated they are, the more overlapping and odd movement of points you will get. So try and keep them reasonably simple. So I'm just going to go to our build where we can start from scratch. And the first bit of advice I'm going to give you is rather than selecting our shape and drawing it manually in our composition, rather than doing that, I would suggest selecting the shape you want and then double clicking on the button. That will create a shape layer the exact size of your composition. But if we then go to our rectangle path, we can then adjust its size in here. This is because when manually drawing a shape and moving it into the required position, for some reason, when we go on to our next step and morph between the shapes, the position of our second shape will change. I'm not sure exactly why this is, but by creating them this way, we can make sure that their positions are identical and the positions won't change when we're copying and pasting different shapes. I will show you what I mean in a second, but for now, let's create two or three shapes that we can morph between. So we have our square, so we're going to click off that. Let's create a circle. Again, I'm going to double click. Again, down here, let's change our size to 500. Let's create one more. Let's do a triangle, so that'd be a polygon tool. Double click down to our polystar, down to our polystar path, and let's do three points. And let's bring the outer radius right down, so it's a similar size to our other two shapes. And next, what we're going to do is on all three, we're going to go down to our path one. So the polystar path one or ellipse path one. We're just going to right click on there and convert to Bezier path. And the same in all of these, so that's our circle, convert to Bezier path, and our rectangle. And on all three, I'm going to go down to our path one again, and create a keyframe on the path. And do this on all three. And then once we have our three keyframes, we can select them all and press U on the keyboard. And that will bring up our keyframes. Using this bottom one, we're going to keep that keyframe at the beginning. We're going to move forward, say, a second or so, however long we want between the morph. And on the one above, which is our square, we're going to click on that keyframe, copy, go back to our first keyframe, so that's selected, and then we're going to paste. Again, let's go forwards again a second or so. And now on our final one, our triangle, click on that keyframe, copy, back down to our main layer, and we're going to paste that keyframe at the end. We can now turn off or delete those top two layers, and you'll see that these keyframes now morph between those different shapes. As you can see, they also stayed in the center, so what I'm going to do is quickly show you what not to do, and let's just create two one circle, I'm just going to draw it manually this time. Click off, and then let's draw a square. Let's draw that manually. On both, I'm just going to align, so they're both in the middle, which is essentially what we had before, a square and a circle, dead center. And let's go and convert both to Bezier's again, and create keyframes. And let's copy that top keyframe. Let's move forward and let's paste it on this bottom layer. There we go. And you'll see that for some reason it jumps off center. And what we could have done is just moved it back into position. But if we have multiple layers, it's a lot easier if we don't have to do that for all the shapes. So it's just a very quick tip at the very start just to use the double click method just to make sure that they all copy and paste into their correct positions. 
So let's just delete those and let's just turn on our bottom layer. Press U again. And let's just spread these keyframes out. Let's, just, let's copy that first keyframe and put that at the very end. Let's just highlight all to an easy ease. Let's just watch this through. And it's as simple as that. So I hope that was useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.